Hello? Uh, yeah, I'm here. Uh, you wouldn't happen to still be open, would you? Of course we are, 365 days a year. I'm in town on some business, and everywhere else in town is booked. Do you have a room? Yes, we do. Can I grab your name from you? Jack. My name's Jack. Hi, Jack. Um, if you just have a seat there, I'm going to print out some paperwork, and we'll get you on your way. Thanks. So what's the story about this place? Looks like you've been around for a while. Uh, yeah. My dad and grandpa owned it, and when they couldn't run it anymore, I got the lovely pleasure of taking it over. Um, it's been really slow lately, but I'm hopeful it'll pick back up. Yeah, I hope so. Anything else I need to know? Yes. Um, breakfast is at 7.30, and your room is number 7 upstairs. Thanks. Oh, um, Jack? Yeah? If you could do me a favor and not go poking around upstairs, room number six, that'd be great. Uh, okay. You said it was just you and me tonight? Yeah, that's what I said. All right. Maybe, but it just doesn't seem that simple, you know? Everyone has weird things they like to hide. I mean, why wouldn't she tell me someone else was here? Uh, maybe she just doesn't want you snooping around, I don't know. I can't get over the feeling that there's something else going on. Do you think something's wrong with that woman? Yeah, maybe, or maybe you've just been up too long and had a bit too much coffee. Yeah, you're right. I'll just ask the owner in the morning. 
All right, just don't worry about it too much, Jack. Only two more days and we're finished here. Get some sleep. Talk to you soon. Yeah, just a little bit. Uh, I've been sleeping fine, though. I, I did have a question about one of the rooms, though. Didn't I tell you to stay out of there? Well, yes, and technically I didn't go in. The door was locked. I... I'm sorry, I know I, I shouldn't have bothered, but there was just something so interesting about it, you know? There's something wrong with the peephole, by the way. Uh, I can see into the room. It's fine. I probably would have done the same thing if I were you. So what's the story? Why does the room feel like it's drawing me in, and who's that lady? You saw her? How? Uh, I was peeking through the keyhole, and she was just sitting there in the rocking chair. Uh, who is she? Before we bought the place, there was a husband and wife that lived here, and to make a long story short, he stabbed her to death, and that was their bedroom. Skipped town, and police never caught up to him. Did they ever find out why? Nobody can really say. They seemed like a perfectly happy, normal couple. Was there anything strange about them? Well, some of the neighbors thought they had some cult involvement, but uh, that was just rumors. And then there was that, no, that was just a rumor too. What was it? Well, the story goes that when they found her body, her eyes were completely red or something like that, but nobody really knew for sure. I think that they just made it up to scare people. Uh, I have to go. Alright, so we're gonna need that Smith article by Tuesday morning, and uh, that one on architecture by Sunday. Yeah, I know. Okay, just making sure. I mean, last time you forgot, and I... I know! Alright, alright, just get it done. I'll see what I can do about it tomorrow, but it's getting pretty late here, so I should probably hit the hay. <sighs> it's been a long day. Yeah, that meeting went a little rough this morning, to say the least. <laughs> yeah, Jack, for you and me both. Did you uh, find anything else out about that weird room? Yeah, I did. Oh yeah? What'd you find out? Sort of an odd story, actually. Well, I looked up the place you're at, and according to Google, it doesn't exist, which is weird, but I mean, it's probably just how some hey. small. I gotta go. Jack, is everything okay?